President Joseph Robinette Biden, y'all know him as Joe Biden. He, like all presidents, is going to be speaking at college graduation. Vice president speaks somewhere, president speaks somewhere, all the senators be speaking somewhere. It is not uncommon for presidents to speak. But this year, it was announced that President Biden would be speaking at Morehouse College. That's right. Joe Biden announced that he would be speaking at graduation at Morehouse College. Morehouse announced that President Biden would be speaking at the institution. Morehouse and Joe Biden this year is a strange choice. Now, let's be clear. I understand why Joe Biden would want to do it. It's an election year. What better place than to stand in the tradition of Martin Luther King, his alma mater? What better place to be than go to an HBCU and not just any historically black college or university, but go to one of the most celebrated, one of the most revered. It's in that kind of upper echelon of not just HBCUs, but bourgeois, professional class HBCUs. You know, there's over 100 HBCUs. But when people say HBCUs, they usually ain't talking about Dell State. They usually ain't talking about Langston. They usually ain't talking about Cheney. They talk about Hampton, Howard, Morehouse, Spellman. You know, that's that's the crew, among a couple of others. And so for him, this is an opportunity to speak right to the black middle class. This is an opportunity to get votes. I understand why Joe Biden wants to speak at Morehouse. That, to me, is a no-brainer. The question is, why the hell does Morehouse want Joe Biden to be their commencement speaker? Now, he's the president. Every institution loves to pat themselves on the back. They love to say, look how awesome we are. And what better way to look awesome than to have the president there? Most people can't get the president there. So him showing up there, I get it from a market standpoint. I get it from a branding standpoint. Oh, we got the president here. It's going to make some people enroll. And enrollments have been lower in the last few years. It's going to make people enroll. It's going to make the, the money go up. It might make donations go up. There's a lot of reasons for them to do it. So then, Mark, what's the issue? What's the issue? The issue is Joe Biden is a terrible choice. Joe Biden has demonstrated in the last six months and certainly the last year that he is not in the tradition of Morehouse. He right now is complicit in genocide in Gaza. Right now at this moment, let's just look at that. I've taught at Morehouse. I've attended Morehouse. I have been to many Morehouse graduations, family, friends. There's a beauty and a sacredness to Morehouse's graduation. There's something extraordinary about Morehouse's graduation. They say over the heads of her students, right? Morehouse holds a crown that they challenge you to be tall enough to reach, to grow into, right? You grow into it. I butchered it a little bit, but the idea here is that there's a lofty goal and then you grow into it. The quote is, over the heads of her students, Morehouse holds a crown that she challenges them to grow tall enough to wear. Look at me, too funky for myself. I said it right. That's by the great Howard Thurman, Morehouse class of 1923, by the way. Over the heads of her students, Morehouse holds a crown that she challenges them to grow tall enough to wear. That means there's a moral and spiritual and personal growth. There's a political maturation. There's some something to be said about being a Morehouse graduate. How do you bring a war criminal into Morehouse in the midst of the very war that makes him a criminal? At a moment where the students, this isn't just an abstract thing, where the students at Morehouse themselves are protesting. The students themselves at Morehouse are saying, we hate this war. This is wrong. I've watched students stand up and fight against programming, against curricular decisions, against all kinds of things at Morehouse that reinforce settler colonialism, that reinforce Zionism, that reinforce the genocide in Gaza. 
they've disrupted Crown Forum, which is a big thing at Morehouse. It's like a, a, a weekly assembly in, in the King Chapel. This is not a small thing. So here's what Morehouse does. The alumni at Morehouse are very, very active. And they said, we don't like this. So they started circulating an online letter uh, that condemns the administration, uh, the president, the provost, et cetera, for inviting President Biden. And they've been getting signatures to uh, pressure Morehouse's president, David Thomas, to rescind the invitation. They're asking Morehouse to take back the invitation to the of, to the president of the United States. I love it. I love it. Here's what they said. They said, in inviting President Biden to campus, the college affirms a cruel standard that complicity in genocide merits no sanction from the institution that produced one of the towering advocates for nonviolence of the 20th century. King, Martin Luther King, the most famous Morehouse alum, his stance that war is a hell that diminishes humanity as a whole was something that the college was now ignoring. He said, if the college cannot affirm this noble tradition of justice by rescinding its invitation to President Biden, then the college should reconsider its attachment to Dr. King. I have never been more proud of Morehouse than at that moment. I have never been more proud. They said, if you won't rescind your invitation to Biden, then you should reconsider your attachment to Dr. King. Don't pretend to be in Dr. King's tradition, which is anti-imperialism, nonviolence, anti-militarism. Don't say you about that life. And you bring in somebody who literally, literally this week just tried to send and successfully send $26 billion to Israel. I think 17 of which, 17 billion of which, maybe. I'll check the number, but a big chunk of it is military aid, 16, 17 billion dollars in military aid to Israel. If that's the game we play in, if that's the game we play in. Funding a genocide, vetoing ceasefires, refusing to hold Israel accountable for anything. If that's the game we play in. Then you can't expect to be invited to Dr. King's legacy. You shouldn't be getting inv invitations to King's Chapel or King's University, King's College, you know, his alma mater. You can't expect any of that. No, it's wrong. So what do you do now? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Morehouse ain't taking it back. They invited faculty to an online forum where they could discuss how they feel. This is some classic university administrator bullshit, right? He says, y'all can come, we're gonna, we're gonna discuss all of this. He said, but when they sent the invitation, here's what he said, President President Brown, excuse me, uh, Kendrick Brown, uh, the, the provost, um, he said, Please know, going into this conversation, that the college does not plan to rescind its accepted invitation to President Biden, i.e., y'all can come, y'all can complain, but please be clear, we still get in the president. And that's deeply frustrating. That's deeply problematic. Um, it's deeply disappointing. It's equally disappointing that Raphael Warnock, the senator from georgia another one of them progressives except for palestine people he's honored that morehouse is going to have me say he tweeted today that he was honored that biden was showing up that, that of course is his mater he also has been a complete 180 progressive except for palestine person he was pro-palestine before he got elected and the moment he was even thinking about the senate he flipped the script but this speaks to a serious problem with the black misleadership class, a serious problem 
with HBCUs. I've been to a lot of HBCUs. I ain't been to a black college yet. So many of them sell out and they sell out for so cheap. You know, somebody here wrote getting big cash from APAC. That's probably true. I know when I worked at Morehouse, there were certainly phone calls for me to stop. Critic I was literally called and told to stop criticizing Israel at Morehouse. So that's definitely true. That's a, an actual fact. But I don't even think, Nicole, that that's what this is. I don't even think it's that. I think that Negroes love proximity to power, proximity to whiteness, proximity to what they perceive to be the pathway out. And too often, these institutions fashion themselves as being, you know, when I started at Morehouse as a freshman, you're going to the Harvard of the South. Now, one, it just ain't true. But two, that shouldn't be the vision. That shouldn't be the goal. I don't want to be the Harvard of the South. I want to be the Morehouse of the South. I want to be the Morehouse, period. Now, I get there's something embarrassing about resending an invitation to the president, but it would send a message. The question is, what would Dr. King do? Since y'all say y'all King's tradition, y'all are an articulation of his worldview. You are the realization of a dream come true. If that's the case, then who are we going to be? So I encourage one, everyone to keep their eyes glued to this, but very, very specifically, I want to see that Morehouse graduation footage. I want to see them booing. I want to see them walking out. I want to, you know, I, let me take that back. I don't want them to boo. I actually don't think that's in our tradition, but I think they should silently walk out. I think they should stand up and turn their backs. And this is why I'm frustrated with, with Morehouse, because you put these people, these graduates in a tough spot. Because their mamas and daddies just want to see them graduate. Their grandmom and them definitely just want to see their baby walk across the stage and get that diploma. And quiet as kept, they love them some Joe Biden. Them grandmamas and them, them aunties and them. So now by doing this, you're making the students, you're making, you're creating a distraction on the biggest day of their lives. And it's almost as if they are banking on the fact that we won't say anything and we'll just go with the flow because it's easier that way, which is the same logic that Democrats use to make you vote for. Oh, we'll just go with the flow. It's better than Trump. And that logic is scary. It's dangerous. It's frustrating. Um, and it speaks to a broader uh, and deeper, a deeper problem. I'll just, I'll, I'll just say that. So shout out to the people at Morehouse. Shout out to everybody on the alumni list who, who actually resisted, who actually stood up for something. I appreciate it. I admire you. I love you. Keep on fighting.